A British boy band is one of EMI Records' most successful artists. They're just so effortless. You just watch them and you just think, wow. The harmonies are so special. Their singing is it's almost ethereal. They've toured the world. They've sung to His Holiness the Pope. Closer to home, they've appeared on Songs of Praise more times than any other act in its 48-year history. What's more, they also feature on our signature tune. I like them so much, they sang at my wedding. So tonight we get to meet the personalities behind the unique sound that is Libra. Libera are a 40-strong, not-for-profit boys' choir. Aged between 7 and 16, they come from different schools and churches across the South London area. a party at Liam's house and they were all over um, playing karaoke and singing and they don't sound like Libra when they're being normal boys. <laughs> it's given him a, a new circle of friends, maybe a new kind of outlook on life um, and he's really passionate and, and so committed to it. Since the 1990s, Libra's distinctive sound has travelled the world. Their albums have topped both mainstream and classical charts alongside the likes of Pavarotti and Bocelli. And from the world of pop music, Beach Boys legend Brian Wilson numbers amongst their many fans. When I heard them sing, I said, it does remind me a little bit of the Beach Boys sound, you know? And I thought, well, wow, they, they must, either they're trying to sound like us or they just naturally sound like us. You may have also heard them singing on recent TV commercials or on the film soundtrack to the sinister blockbuster Hannibal. They've backed Elton John and Bjork. They've even supported Hayley Westenra and yours truly. Well, Libera, of course, is the Latin word for free because that's what Libera is about. It's that freedom to do what we want. We write music especially, we create sounds especially for Libera, and it is outside the confines of a, a traditional choir in that sense. It is free from that. It's not a choir, it's a group that sings classical slash pop mixed music together, and it's really great fun. It makes you feel quite free. I know that sounds so corny, I can't believe I just said that, but... It just makes you feel like you're in a different place. me feel like I'm on top of the world because when I start singing I don't really care about what's happening I just sing what I have to sing and I, I find it just a release from real life All people should know that boys our age can sing high they just don't know that they can do it and we have discovered our talents and are putting them to good use
Well, I really can't go anywhere without someone treating me to a few bars of the theme from The Snowman. So I flatter myself when I say no one knows better than I do what it was really like to become a professional boy soloist. I'm really proud of my roots as a cathedral chorister. And like me, the Libra boys have learned to sing and read music using hymns and anthems. But Libra aren't just choir boys with attitude. When I was a choir boy your age, many, many years ago, I had to wear a, a ruff with a cassock and then the surplus. So how come you guys don't wear that and you wear these outfits? It looks a bit more modern, I think, and I think... Mm. Mm. I think that Even though it's quite ancient stuff from, like, monks in the 15th century, it looks quite modern. That is it. What's that? all this about? Oh, socks. What? These no, socks are they, the most they, outrageous they are socks I've ever hid. seen. They are slightly... They're hideous. <laughs> <laughs> monks used to wear pink socks. <laughs> Apparently they do. <laughs> Even though the music is in Latin, I do understand some of the words because I do quite high-level Latin at school. I don't understand the Latin we sing at all, um, but you kind of get used to the pronunciation of words, so you get used to it after a while. I was actually brought up by Benedictine monks, so I find it quite amusing in some ways when I see them with their, their hoods looking rather monk-like, um, and it takes me back to that Benedictine spirituality. I do think that you can feel kind of the power and the awe and when you sing those Latin words and those services, especially when they're big ones in cathedrals and stuff, it does make you feel quite... Wow. OK, just hold it there. If we can go back and sing over that one and think about holding your hymn books up so I can hear your lovely voices. You're not Leading worship is a major part of Libera's repertoire. And, of course, you're never too young to learn traditional hymns. One of the things that I do working with Libera is I help to train the, the new recruits. We call them the mini-boys. They're the new young boys that join the choir. And one of the responsibilities I have is to help them with their hymn singing. My hand will save. Using hymns is a very good way of learning note lengths and intervals and rhythm. Um, so there's quite a lot that we can do in hymn singing, and it's such an important part of leading worship.
The high notes and harmonies may be heavenly, but the Libra boys are as down to earth as they come. Even when their voices break, some boys and their parents remain within the Libra family to train and chaperone the younger ones. And believe you me, these lads are no angels. <laughs> <laughs> ben, come and join us. It's so late, Carly's so late. This is not late for Ben. This is early. No. What are you talking about? He's early for the next one. <laughs> Do you think you sound best in like a church environment or in a concert in a or? Echoey. Place. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think a place yeah. with a lot of acoustic is very good. Toilet. <laughs> you do a lot of concerts in yeah. toilets. <laughs> what kind of music do you like singing most? The stuff you that Rob writes. Can you write another song, please? <laughs> and how do you how do you kind of feel when you're singing it? You feel really good. You can't because all the harmonies they all fit together like perfectly. What do you want to do when you're a man? <laughs> He's going to be a basketball player. What about you? Well, um, it's either a singer or a NASA scientist. Really. <laughs> oh, wow. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> first man to sing in space. That's what you want to do. You to be the first man to sing in no, space. Ben can be the first. <laughs> what do you make of Libra? It's just so funny. You get to make loads of friends. Um, <laughs> funny. <yeah. laughs> it's so funny singing. It's like, you know what, these really, really old boys don't let you get a word in edgeways, do they? You know, they're always talking over you. Um, are you glad that you've joined then? Yeah. What do you like singing most? Well, I like this. <laughs> <laughs> Shush. <laughs> Nearly 40 boys will be at a rehearsal on a Monday night with all the little ones who've done it very little before, right the way through to the 14-year-olds, they will destroy the furniture if there isn't some kind of discipline. I think Rob is a really cool person. Um, yeah, he's, he is one of the boys. You're not bored. You're not bored. I am. He makes jokes with us and he's fun with us. He isn't very strict, but he does come down on a few rules sometimes. Let me hear, please. Sing me the first note. Will be tweet. He will go one, two, three. Well done. So he's got sure a great sense of humour. Um, he tries to relate to the, each individual when he's either working one-to-one -one or in the group. There are times where he'll be a bit stroppy sometimes, but that's because the boys aren't cooperating. That's amazing. Have we got the heavens of telling? What is all this rubbish in here? One of our tasks is to make the boys feel part of a sort of gang, really, and that they, they, they support each other. So make sure you can get right up to the top note and then right down to the bottom, OK? Ma, 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 ma. The, the older boys are like sort of uncles to the younger ones, really, because they've all been where they were once. Ma. When my voice broke, I didn't want to leave. I was only 13 or so at the time and I still had really good friends in the choir. So I didn't want to, to move away from them. And I'd become really interested in the studio and the recording and that whole side of things. So I kind of got a lot more involved in that. And I started singing lower parts as well. There's no vocals. We need something in there. I mean, Ooh. do you want to try something out there? Um, maybe some whispers. I think okay. the fact um, that Libera draws what, what, its boys from such a wide kind of variety of backgrounds is amazing. And it really makes you realise that with something like the singing in common, that your background is completely irrelevant. I came from a, a comprehensive school in South London, and then to the boys who've come from lovely, leafy Surrey, and you think they're just here next to each other singing and having a great time, and I think that social aspect is equally as important. You're still so immersed in this kind of life, you can't really just pull yourself out that fast. So I started to do more in the studio and uh, help out with sessions. You really feel a part of this kind of team and the opportunities, I mean, to work on a record that's number one in the classical charts in uh, different places in the world, I mean, how, how can you turn that down? Here I can generate all kinds of different sounds, you know, some of them based on real instruments, some of them based on modern synthesizers and loops and drums and so forth. Um, some of them will involve a, a full orchestra. So we can call on all those different uh, instrumental textures, really. So it's a wonderful palette of sound to work with. Sometimes the sound might actually be derived from one of the boys' voices and we would put it onto the keyboard uh, as a sound, so you can actually play it. So this one... 
It's just like a sound you might get on a synthesizer, but of course it's our own sound. We also draw on some classical music so that we would arrange, for instance, the Packabell Canon, which forms the basis of a piece uh, which we set to the words uh, of the Sanctus. Um, and that has all sorts of counter melodies going within it, uh, which bring the Libera uniqueness to it. <laughs> Surprisingly enough, Tom doesn't look at the emails that often. Perhaps I do, but a bit more and keep sort of check on it. Most of his friends probably don't know that he's been to Japan and Korea and things like that. He keeps it quite secret. He doesn't like to be big-headed in a way. We're still so modest. brilliant. <laughs> yeah, we're fantastic, we're brilliant, we're modest. <laughs> I'm, I'm brilliant. And judging by the website, thousands of Libera enthusiasts would agree with that. Their fan base is drawn from all walks of life. Mark Prouse has long been inspired by the Libera blend of comforting words and ethereal melodies. I've been blind since I was two and a half, so I'm pretty accustomed to getting around in reasonably difficult circumstances. I use a very busy central London station when I arrive at work. As soon as ever I can, I'll have the headphones on. Basically, in all of this, I can't wait for some peace and soothing. And nothing does that for me like the Libra sound. There's always with you, always shadowing you, keep me safely, hold my hand, all this kind of stuff. It's all very appropriate, actually. You were there in everything I knew. I can use that time to be um, a little bit contemplative, 
to think about where I am with, with God sometimes. Because the guys, particularly when they're singing quietly, it's like they're singing right into your ears sometimes, and sometimes kind of like right into your soul. Libra manage to emphasise the greatness of God, the mystery of God, and his closeness and his readiness to be near you at all times, but in a very simple, digestible way. That comes through in so many of their songs. Libra's sounds are very peaceful. They're very soothing to me. There are some days when Libra and the MP3 are my survival kit. a long, long way from your California beaches, but the sunlight of your music can be felt every day on our streets in South London. On the international stage, Libra have made an impression on some of the top names in the music business, like Brian Wilson of Beach Boys fame. Well, the band Libra, I, I first saw them in Washington, D.C. on the Kennedy Center award trip and they were really good. They, they sang very well. Their harmonies, they were very young kids, very nice looking. And they sang very nice, sweet harmonies, and they did a great job on uh, Love and Mercy. And I thought, well, wow. They must, either they're trying to sound like us, or they just naturally sound like us. I believe in God. I believe there's a God that watches over us. Yeah, I believe that. You know, I had I drank a half a bottle of champagne one night, you know, and I got real loose, and I and I got into a very very good spiritual mood, and I wrote and went in the key of A, and I started playing around. And I, I composed Love and Mercy. Yeah. Well, the Beach Boys were, of course, my biggest musical achievement, you know, in my life. And uh, we all had good harmonies, you know, and I wrote a lot of good songs for them. Three of us were brothers, so that maybe we had similar voices, you know. So we, could, we harmonized very well that way. Well, Libra, I think if they really wanted to, they could record an album of Beach Boys songs. Yeah, I think so.
thing that made me join is the fact that it's such a good kind of community with everyone getting along and the thing that keeps me there is that is that same reason because everybody gets along and you've got lots of good friends here and you get lots of opportunities to go good places. I think singing Libero's songs or listening to them even um, gets me, I know, very emotional because I'm one of these people that sings along with and starts crying. Um, but I think from singing Libero's songs, it really sort of portrays how deep down it meaning, meaningful words are. With Liam being in Libra, um, it, it has had a huge impact on his spiritual development. He takes it very seriously um, and he is interested in the, the themes behind the songs as well as learning the, the, the parts that he has to learn. I believe that it's the coupling of of excellent harmonic structure with words that have very profound meaning. And uh, you, you know, if, if there's truth behind something, I think it, it bears witness in the hearts of individuals that hear it. Last year was Libera's most prestigious appearance so far, taking part in the papal mass event during Pope Benedict XVI's first visit to the United States. To hear the reactions that we get and to walk out in front of us, we did 65,000 people in the Yankee Stadium in New York, you know, and to hear that crowd taking off, of course it's rewarding. But I have to say no less in a way than perhaps a quiet little thing that we might do uh, in a, a lovely church or something, you know, as the sun sets and the mood takes over, you know, and it, there might not be many people there, really. And sometimes the performance in that situation, perhaps it might be a church service or something, um, can be just as moving and, and, for me, equally rewarding. So sing as you will for the show, please. Got that middle part. Sam, do you remember that? So in spite of travelling the world as top recording artists, Libera keep returning to their roots in church music. This time, it's a concert at a church in Torquay. What's the pitching up apart? You've been under. I think that's the only word I can use to describe that it was wonderful. Every time you get that amazing feeling when you come out that, you know, the world's a better place. Yeah, they're very beautiful boys. India boys. Oh, it has a, an ethereal quality, doesn't it? It's uh, the innocence of it. The children were so concentrated, so obviously enjoying it as well, which is quite, which is quite something for, for people who are so young. I think that they are unique, definitely unique and I'm proud that they belong to us. <laughs> Libra, with their unique style, seem to be able to cross the boundaries between church, classical and pop music, whilst at the same time learning about friendship and teamwork. Many singers regard musical talent as a gift from God. And as long as you're using that talent, it shouldn't really matter if the music's sacred or secular. Libra seem to have got the blend just right.